Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. Uh, today I am going to be doing um, an unboxing. Uh, this is a first on Kindred Spirit uh, Tarot channel that we have received, my friends, a gift from another channel. This is the Thelema Lenamand um, Oracle deck. Um, this has come to us from Gazelle Tarot. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, Laura bought this deck for herself, uh, did her own unboxing on her channel, um, and ended up dedicating uh, the deck to uh, Ruby and myself, um, as it really did remind her of uh, me and Ruby. Um, and... Uh, I saw it and I was like, I've got to have that deck. <laughs> and um, Laura jumped at the chance and she sent it um, to us. So uh, let's jump straight in. I've already removed all the cellophane so we can um, just get straight to it, my friend. So uh, lovely, sturdy box. Um, really like uh, sturdy boxes. Some of them can be a bit flimsy, but um, no, this is a good box. And we have a nice little piece of ribbon that we can lift everything out. And so we have a little guidebook, nicely made. Um, yeah, nice, nice thick card and has all the meanings in of each of the cards. Um, this comes in four other languages. So uh, towards the end of the book, you get... Um, all the different uh, translations uh, and also uh, different ways that you can uh, set the cards out. Um, there is a particular way to read these um, cards so um, I will look forward to uh, learning all of that. Okay, let's delve straight in. <laughs> oh, this is a real wow, wow, wow moment for me. <laughs> let's stand the horse and rider up. Okay, your first card, number one, is the rider. Isn't that just absolutely fabulous? The rider has the most perfect position. Um, heel in line with hip, in line with shoulder. <laughs> this card spoke to me in that it's number one, which um, for me is beginnings. Um, it's also uh, number nine, which is uh, completion, reaching that ideal having your dreams come true um, and the nine of, of hearts on the corner of these cards there are um, hearts spades diamonds or clubs uh, you can actually uh, read the tarot with playing cards um, the playing cards are uh, the 52 minor arcana they just took the major arcana out so uh, spades would be air or swords hearts would be um water or, or cups uh diamonds would be well earth and uh, pentacles um clubs would be uh, fire or wands um so for me this was the opportunity and i celebrate the fact that i had the opportunity to um to have a dream come true and see it through completely from uh, from beginning to end uh, and if you go back to um, in my created uh, playlists um, under Ruby I think I did one where I did a tribute to Ruby where our uh, wonderful friends Heather and Kel had sent me though that beautiful bouquet with all the lilies in uh, you'll see that um, I do have a competition number tied around my leg and it actually is number 27 so from the very beginning number nine was quite uh, was really prominent okay let's get back to these wonderful cards so next we have two which is clover and ruby very partial to clover and uh, thistle heads <laughs> she liked a thistle head oh wow oh i really like that there's real movement in that card the ship oh number four home homestead home is where your heart is wow oh yes look at that 
That is a mighty oak if ever I saw one. Absolutely gorgeous. And look, the bird's going to fly into the hollow. Wow. That is a gorgeous... There's so much to see when you really start looking into it. With a waterfall in the background, more birds there and there. Wow. Number six, storm. Is it just coming or is it just going? Mm. <laughs> Seven, oh wow, the serpent in the apple tree. Oh yes. Oh, and a, a coffin, a sarcophagus with steps leading down and steps leading up <laughs> oh yes look at that beautiful bouquet of flowers oh that's gorgeous oh, I really like that and harvest time reaping that that you which you have sown earlier in the year and 10 culmination oh okay we have a broomstick and a whip mm. oh yes look at that sparrows oh I love sparrows don't see enough of them anymore Really? Oh, look at these two. Oh, wow. They're having a conversation. <laughs> oh. oh, I like this card. And it's number 12. One and two, three. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, look at that. A childlike sense of wonder. That's a beautiful card. Ooh. The fox and the pheasant. Oh, this is about outwitting, I feel. It's a pheasant, a really large bird with very small wings. Uh, so he, he only uh, can fly once a day. He can only go up once a day. So he has to keep his wits about him and use his energy uh, very wisely. Yeah, but maybe the fox had seen him go up, knew he wouldn't be able to do it again and outsmarted him. Mm, I like that card. Bear. And the zodiac. Let's see if I can find Scorpio. Oh, there I am, Scorpio. And I know Laura from Gazelle Tarot does have Scorpio in her chart. Nice card. Oh, a pair of nesting stalks. I hope you can see the actual vibrancy and colour of these cards. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at him. Oh, sat on the porch waiting for his master to come home. Look at that. Loyalty. That speaks of loyalty. Oh, the tower kind of a different perspective of the tower because you're really far away so maybe you are observing I will find out when I get to read the book oh look at that beautiful garden with a fountain maybe the fountain of knowledge who knows oh love that oh you get to be a bird you get a bird's eye perspective. Wow. Oh, I really like that one. Now that's really nice as well. In its simplicity, because it's crossroads 
<laughs> you get to choose the path that you are on and each path is different wow oh aren't they sweet little mice unless they've broken into your kitchen cupboards of course then they're not so sweet <laughs> oh look at the pumpkin in the background as well oh i really like that card really nice oh look at that love love your heart unfolding like the roses like the petals of a rose and the two doves here wow and ruby ring another card that really uh, reminds me of uh, ruby because i look at the circles look and it, again like the cycle of life the fact that i was able to um see a cycle in its uh, completion isn't that absolutely gorgeous and i used to say mr ks had bought me the biggest ruby any woman could ever have <laughs> I like that. Books, knowledge, a letter with a wax stamp on, so signed and sealed with your feather quill and your uh, envelope opener. Ooh, gentleman, very smartly dressed. And the lady, doesn't she look beautiful in her ruby red gown with her parasol? And our friend Laura from Gazelle does have a, a parasol with birdies on. So this will have to be you, Laura. Don't you look gorgeous in your ruby red dress with your parasol? <laughs> in your beautiful garden. Wow. Oh, wow. We get lilies. Well, this will have to be Heather and Kel's card. Wow. The two beautiful ladies from Australia who sent me that gorgeous bouquet. Oh, look at that. You're on the sunny path. That's gorgeous. Oh, Moonlight Sonata. Isn't that just a... A very peaceful image. Love it. Well, <laughs> any of you that have followed me for all of this time knows I love a good key. <laughs> they do represent for me opening doorways. Oh, that's absolutely. And it's a master builder number as well. Wow. And number eight, the number of believing in yourself. Wow gorgeous oh and the ocean deep down at the bottom of the ocean a treasure chest so deep down within is where all your treasure lies my friends <laughs> oh weigh anchor anchors i love an anchor they are reminders pulling you back into the moment and into the now and of course it's a shoreline and I'm a water sign, so I would find that very attractive. Oh, okay, and your last one is a cross. Another thought-provoking image. Wow. I cannot wait to use these cards. Um, I think I will be using them for uh, January 2020 um, monthly reads. Um, I'm going to uh, have a little read through the book later on today so that I can familiarise myself. Um, aren't we lucky? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Laura, on behalf of all of us. <laughs> OK, my friends, well, until next time, goodbye.